Alan Kim from Menard. If you haven't seen it yet, you should. It's really good. Welcome to the W Best Performances Virtual Celebration. As far as I know, this is the only kind of celebration there is. But people say one day we will be in person again. I wonder what that will be like. Will we be friends? Will we dance? Am I bigger than you? I can't wait to find out. And now here's the editor in chief of W Magazines, Sarah Moonves. Thank you, Alan. Hi, I'm Sarah Moonves, editor in chief of W Magazine. Although I wish we could be together in person to celebrate W's annual best performances issue, I'm so glad to have you here joining us virtually. 2020 was an amazing year for movies, and tonight we're going to celebrate some of those incredible performances. On behalf of myself, editor at large Lynn Hirschberg, and the entire W team, we hope you enjoy. I'm Gal Gadot, and this is my five first with W Magazine. What was your first audition for Wonder Woman? My first audition for Wonder Woman was when I was in LA and I was promoting one of the Fast and Furious movie. And I was just on the verge of stop like quitting acting. And then I got a phone call from my agent saying that Warner Brothers wants to see me for this secret audition. And I did the audition uh, with Zack Snyder, who was in the room, and it was, and it was great. <laughs> and it worked out. I didn't realize it, you know, until after I did that, but I actually got a scene from Pop Fiction, which was uh, crazy. Do you remember? And if scene? you ask me now, I don't remember the scene. <laughs> Nothing of a dancing scene, but it was it was cool. Who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush, like as a girl growing up, probably Madonna. I grew up listening to Madonna all the time. And then it was Lenny Kravitz. Did you have a favorite Madonna song? Uh, wow, so many of them. Uh, Vogue. It's like, it's iconic. And I also, when we finished middle school, we did this huge, um, you know, when you perform in front of the parents and the teachers. And I was, and I had like a solo for, for Vogue. And I got to tell it to Madonna one time and she, and, and, and it was, it was interesting <laughs> to see um, how excited I was. And it took her time. She said, wait, you did what? But you did the Vogue? How, you, what? When? Um, yes, but that was, Madonna was, was my icon growing up. What's your first and favorite karaoke song? My first and favorite karaoke song is in Hebrew. Uh, and it's called Ketze Valichata, The Pace of Her Walk. And it's kind of like a fast song. Uh, and I can I can embarrass myself and sing it for you if you like, like a Please. part of it. Please. 
קצב הליכתה הקיימת בשימתה הם שיעידו הם שיגידו שדבקותה מאהבה יעשה בשיער ההוא שתי נהגה וצפות עליה שהיא באה מאהבה. באה מאהבה. יאה, אני מתקיפ שם גם עם באה מאהבה. באה מאהבה. קצב הליכתה. I love this. For karaoke it's the best. What was your first pair of high heels? My, uh, my first uh, pair of high heels I bought with my mother in a shop in a mall when I was 16. And did you wear them to a party? I wore them to a party. Yeah, we bought it for a party. I'm using the M's, as you can see here, as W's, okay? Okay. Okay, so don't judge me. There's many <laughs> M's and not enough W's. Um, so yes, and we wore it and then I wore them for a party. Do you remember what kind of party? Was it like a special party of some kind? I think it was the, the end of, of middle school or the beginning of high school or something like that. What was your first red carpet outfit? My really first red carpet outfit was for Fast and Furious, the fourth movie, which was my first movie ever. And that was my first premiere ever. We call it at the house, Yaron and I let joke, and we call it uh, a purple napkin. It was very short, but it was also like a, a, a strapless dress. And it was designed by Israeli company that I was, uh, that I was their face. And I wanted to, to show some Israeli designers, which maybe now thinking about it in retrospective wasn't the best idea because the dress wasn't great for a red carpet. But it was fun. It, you learn. <laughs> Did you worry about your underwear showing during the night? <laughs> I was so freaking cold the whole time because I thought I'm going to be in L.A. And I didn't, I didn't know L.A. much. But I knew, I knew that L.A. was hot, right? During the day, it's warm. But during the night, it's very chilly. And wearing a napkin is not the best costume <laughs> It's not the best outfit to wear for, you know, for a night look. Where was your first kiss? My first kiss was nothing to write home about. And I think it was in a, in a club, um, like in a dancing club that we went to with like a bunch of my friends. I don't even remember his name. I don't even remember how we looked like. It was kind of, I just wanted to get it over with and, and say that I kissed already. And I was 16, by the way. So you don't, do you, have you heard from him since? No, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, and I just didn't know it was him, but no, I didn't. <laughs> What was your first piece of good advice that you received? My first piece of good advice, it's kind of hard to, to track the first one and you know but I think that I'm so lucky to have such great parents and every day with them is a different lesson uh, about life so it must you know it must be my Ima and Abba one of them taught me something someone when I just started life let's see your cake um so my cake I've had better ones Lynn you you know that we've had better ones <laughs> Okay, okay, ready? Okay. But I hope it's not gonna fall. Ah! Beautiful! I think it's beautiful. I'm Maria Bakalova, and I have my first ever nomination for my role in Bart's subsequent movie film. And I'm so excited to go to the W Best Performances party to celebrate it. Yes! I had so many red carpet dresses sent to me. And I didn't know which one to choose. So let's see which one works best. Oh. Does it have enough bulbs? Hmm. Maybe it looks too much as a prom dress. What do you think? Does it look like a cupcake? I should try another one. I love this one. And it has this. It 
makes me look so much as a princess girl. But should I go more for a fashion model? Let's try another one. There is no place for my arms. I like the color. I do not see it. I cannot see my feet. But it's interesting. Oh, you know what? You guys just go without me. I think I'm stuck. Hello, I'm Brad Pitt, and I'm going to read uh, Dynamite by BTS. Because I'm in the stars tonight, so watch me bring the fire and set the night alight. Shoes on, get up in the mo morn. I thought I said mom. Cup of milk, let's rock and roll. King Kong, kick the drum, rolling like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home. Jump up to the top, LeBron, and we know who that is. Ding dong, call me on my phone. Iced tea and a game of ping pong. This is getting heavy. Can you hear the bass boom? I'm ready, woo hoo. Life is sweet as honey. Yes, this beat cha-ching like money, huh? Disco overload, I'm into that. I'm good to go. I'm diamond, you know I glow up. Hey, so let's go. Cause I, I, I am in the stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire and set the night alight. Hey, shining through the city with a little funk and soul. I'm gonna light it up like dynamite. Whoa, ho. Bring a friend, join the crowd. Whoever wanna come along, word up, talk the talk. Just move like we off the wall. Oh Jesus. Dyna na 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 life is dynamite. Dyna na 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 life is dynamite. Shining through the city with a little funk and soul. So I'ma light it up like dynamite. Whoa. Oh oh. I'm Vanessa Kirby, and these are my five firsts. My very first professional audition was, <laughs> it wasn't even for a commercial, it was a bank. It wasn't even a bank commercial. It was for um, a banking website where anyone that was applying to work at the bank would, um, would, would watch, right? And I had to audition to play, to role play a good candidate and a bad candidate. And I didn't, they said you had to wear a suit and I didn't have a suit. So I borrowed my sister's school uniform, a like old blazer and I colored in the, the school badge with a, with, a, with a felt tip pen with like a permanent marker. <laughs> and I think they were staring at that the whole audition. And I was terrible. I was great at the bad candidate, but I was, was terrible at the good candidate and didn't get the job. So um, yeah, that was, that was a bit of a blow. <laughs> What's your first and favorite karaoke song? My first karaoke song, I'm ashamed to say, because I'm just, I'm so bad at karaoke. I need to have like a lot of wine before I pluck up the courage. I'm a horrible singer. <laughs> it's no secret. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't even have a go-to karaoke because like you have to really pressure me up and then you can't get me off. Um, but perhaps one of Celine Dion's early ballads. <laughs> oh my God. That album, don't know that I'm not even going to start. Don't look twice, maybe. Uh, maybe, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, my first celebrity crush was everyone's first celebrity crush, which I think is Jack from Titanic. Um, I had a poster on my wall for many years, um, and I used to kiss it goodnight before I went to sleep. Jack and Rose, actually, just to say goodnight. Also, the Spice Girls, I used to kiss them goodnight too. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, my first award ceremony was the Manchester Evening News Theatre Awards. Um, and I, it was my first year of acting and I did three plays up north in Bolton. The beautiful director called David Sacker, who I owe everything to. Um, and I sat there and then actually I've looked at the, I sort of saw some pictures recently on what was I wearing? It was tragic, tragic. Um, don't do much better now, but um, it was, um, yeah, the word is tragic. But I, it was like, I was so in awe of everything. I felt so honored to be there and sort of still feel the same really. <laughs> And where was your first kiss? Oh my God, my, my first kiss <laughs> was on Wimbledon Common where I grew up with this poor guy. Um, it wasn't pleasant. Uh, yeah, it was, it was washing machine, I'd say. I'm going red thinking about it. Oh my God, I haven't thought about that for a long time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel Brosnahan. Hi, my name is Sophia Lillis. I'm Jonathan Majors. Jacob Elordi. Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. Tom Holland. Tessa Thompson. Tolly Ryder. So Keith Stanfield. Andrew Day. Taylor Page. And we're about to play Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever had sex on an airplane. Never have I ever had sex on a plane. Okay. Never have I ever had sex on a plane. Never have I ever had sex on a plane. Never have I ever had sex on a plane, but there's still time. Never have I ever had sex on a plane. Never have I ever had sex on a plane. Damn it, no. I'm surprised you didn't ask about sex in other places, honey, I mean. What was my favorite place? I don't know, probably the car, you know what I mean? <laughs> Never a taxi, no way. Never have I ever cheated on a test. 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 I've never cheated on a COVID test, though. Never have I ever been poorly dressed on the red carpet. Ding! <laughs> Never have I ever been poorly dressed on a red carpet. Never have I ever been poorly dressed on the red carpet. Never have I been poorly dressed on the red carpet. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Never have I ever been poorly dressed on the red carpet. Never have I ever been poorly dressed on the red carpet. Never have I ever been poorly dressed on the red carpet. Can I put them all down? <laughs> Never have I ever done a TikTok dance. 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 Uh, there is, there's one out there somewhere. It was over the quarantine. Everybody was doing TikTok over quarantine, so I get a pass. Never have I ever done a TikTok dance. Actually, I don't have TikTok, but I just played a role where my character is obsessed with TikTok. So never have I ever done a TikTok dance. I take care of my 18 year old cousin and so she's TikTok crazy and I gotta be up on, on game about it. I have never done a TikTok dance. I'm fascinated. I might this afternoon. Never have I ever done a TikTok dance. My sister makes me learn them all the time. Never have I ever forgotten my lines. Never have I ever forgotten my lines. I've done that. <laughs> yeah, I can think I can think on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I have absolutely forgotten my lines. I'm still traumatized. It wakes me up in my sleep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Never have I ever forgotten my lines. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's a good thing if you if you can get your lines. Never have I ever taken a nude selfie. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Especially after I lost weight for the movie, honey. It's all nudies. Never have I ever taken a nude selfie. <laughs> Never have I ever taken a nude selfie. Never have I ever taken a nude selfie. <laughs> you should have asked if I sent it. Uh-oh. <laughs> can you can you crook your finger? No. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> Never have I ever slid into someone's DMs. Oh. <laughs> Earlier this year, I DM'd Nick Kroll a meme, and he responded. Never have I ever slid into the DMs. It go down in the DMs. <laughs> Never have I ever slid into someone's DM. Never have I ever slid into someone's DM. No, I'm a Capricorn. We have way too much pride for that. <laughs> Never have I ever lied about seeing a famous film that I haven't seen. 
Uh, no, I'm, I'm notorious for not seeing the best movies in, in the history of movies, so no. Never have I ever lied about seeing a famous film when talking to somebody. This really hurts, but yeah, I, I, I absolutely have. It was probably before like a Zoom meeting this year, and you know, you're talking about someone's movie, and like, oh, have you seen my movie that I did before this one? And I was like, I just got the meeting or something. It would be a situation like that. Definitely. I'm always like, oh yes, I've seen it. I'm, yeah, I watch it every day, obviously. I loved the, the clothes, the cost, they were amazing. I just, I, what did you think? <laughs> Never have I ever talked to my dog, cat, or animal in a weird voice. Oh. Never have I ever talked to my pets in a weird voice. I have definitely talked to my dog in a weird voice. I mean, daily. Never have I ever talked to my dog, cat, or animal in a weird voice. Have you met me? Always. I despise weird voices for uh, pets and babies. I don't think I do, but I honestly probably have. Never have I ever talked to my dog in a weird voice. Give me a little pew pew. Hello, Gracie. Come here, doggy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> My little pit bull, Nikki, she just, she talks like this and, and she's really gentle when she asks for things. I was thinking uh, maybe I could go to have some ham from the fridge and maybe then you would feed me some more. I sort of thought he had kind of a soft, considered voice. Then there's Winston, who has quite an attitude. And um, he's not quite British, but he's a little bit transatlantic. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. Yay! Okay. Hello, this is Leslie Odom Jr. And these are my five firsts. My very first audition that really meant anything was for Rent. Uh, it wasn't really for Rent on Broadway. It was for rent. They were in my town in Philadelphia and they were, it was an, an open call, you know, before American Idol. It was like, a, you know, that cattle call situation. So I think like 800 people showed up at this club in Philadelphia. And um, I was 16 years old and uh, I was just incredibly moved by the, by the themes and the the music and that shows. Anyway, so I go to that audition and not really intending to get the show, not intending to get the job. Um, but yeah, four months later, a few callbacks later, I got a call to join the Broadway company of Rent and nobody was more surprised than I was. Uh, my, my big moment, <laughs> more moment than a song, my big moment was, how do you feel today? How do you feel today? But I was on Broadway. I was on Broadway. I was, you know, 17 years old in a Broadway show. It was like I'd won a fan contest, you know? I just felt like I blinked. And I went from being on this side of the footlights to the other side of the footlights. Who was your first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush was Miss Jackson, Miss Janet Jackson. Um, I was hopelessly devoted to her, just, just, <laughs> like slavishly in love with Janet Jackson. You know, she had the little earring with the key and like, you know, she was, she was talking about, you know, being, being chased and like, you know, let's wait a while. You know what I mean? It was just like, I want, I want to savor this. I want to prolong this relationship. I just was, I just loved her. Uh, and she was, you know, she, she didn't seem to be all that much older than I was. You know, she like there was something about Janet Jackson. She seemed like your babysitter, or like the girl next door, you know, who was just a little bit too old for you, but maybe you could impress her. You know what I mean? You could impress her if you started lifting weights. Like, <laughs> uh, see, it was Janet. My first award show was uh, the 2016 Tony Awards. You know, I, uh, I, did, I didn't have that experience where, you know, you get nominated a couple times for small parts and then you work your way, you know, I, I was kind of marginalized like many, many people that uh, 
have have had this lived experience, you know. So it wasn't really until Lynn Manuel Miranda gave me the role of a lifetime that that I got to um, dig that deep, you know, and and find something that would have gotten gotten me invited to an awards show like that. Where was your first kiss? Um, being in it's pretty young, you know, being in kindergarten and <laughs> feeling like I had you know, a little relationship going in kindergarten with um, Leah was her name, but we would, we would kind of like hide away and, and, you know, smooch, peck each other uh, during, during lunch break or like there, you know, during recess sometimes. <laughs> what was the first and best piece of advice you received? The first and best piece of advice I received, I kind of got this message again and again, growing up in Philadelphia in my first classes and my first training classes was that, um, that my hard work in those classes, any kind of dedication that I put in would allow me to bust through any barriers, any limitations that people tried to put on me or, or put in my way. That sort of, the work that I was putting in in the dark would uh, serve me well in the light. My first and favorite karaoke song probably be uh, Oh, so long for this night I prayed that a star would guide you my way to share with me this special day as a ribbon in the sky for our love. Hello. Hey, yeah. <laughs> How are you? Good, 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 good. How you be? Good to hear your voice again. Great to hear your voice. And wait, I'm very happy you're here. So thank you so much. Do you have a favorite party song, like a song that's like a party song that you love? What is my favorite party song? Um, you know, it changes all the time. Uh, right now, it's um, right now. My favorite party song is um, is "Best Friend" by Sweetie and uh, <laughs> and um, and Doja Cat. <laughs> well, this, that, the song I mentioned is not a singing voice; it's a rapping voice. That my best friend. Uh, she a real bad bitch. Got her own car. Hey, she don't need no lift in the strip club. Uh, no, my girl don't tip. <laughs> That's my song right now. <laughs> Is that my Dizzy in a Tessy? Sorry, you guys. I turn up. Keep to going. Rain. No, no, no. Keep going. I love it. <laughs> I <laughs> love Sweet. That's my best friend. Uh, she a real bad bitch. Right now, that's the one that gets me. That gets me lit. Definitely. <laughs> when you were young, what was your favorite party song? Mm, when I was young, my favorite party song uh, was California Love. <laughs> Uh, California love. Uh, what was the other one that I loved too? Um, I used to go out and party, dance all night. Uh, yeah, I love that. Calling notes too. <laughs> Rich girl. Um, I like. Um, um, Oh God, why can't I think of, what's the song? What's the song, what's the one? You know, do, 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 do. why can't I think of the song? Do, 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 do. Um, uh, it's totally, why can't I think of it right now? I love it, are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I can't go for that, no, 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 can't do, no, I can't go for that, no, 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 can do, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of party songs, I like turning up. <laughs> Well, I wish you were doing the soundtrack for our party. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely put you guys together a poppy soundtrack for sure. <laughs> Here we go. You know what? I should celebrate myself a little bit more often, yeah, right? Should. There's a little shake. Get all, out all your aggressions. What do you and I are going to do? Yes, go! Yep.
Okay, so I popped this thing off. I really do need y'all help. Oh my God, this is kind of scary. <clears throat> Judas and the Black Messiah! I see you in the next one. By the way, nice cake, Wonder Woman.